Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the ZTE Axon 25G. Now you can pick this one up online. I'll throw the link up in the description. The cheapest I found this for is 400 bucks. Now on a side note, this is not a sponsored video. I repeat, this is not a sponsored video, but whenever I get Chinese phones or international phones that are not sold in the USA, I buy them from Giztop or Gearbest. Personally, I like Giztop a little bit better because their shipping is faster. That's where I got the Mi 10, Mi 10 Pro, Mi 10 Ultra, and that's where I'm pre-ordering the Mi 11 tomorrow. All right, so let's go through all the features. Now this phone comes in four different colors, black, gold, blue, and purple. For the display, you got a 6.92 inch OLED panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2400. Now that's 388 for the PPI Patrol. You got glass on the front, plastic on the back, you got an always on display and a 90 hertz refresh rate. I repeat, 90 hertz refresh rate for 400 bucks. For the processor, got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G with the Adreno 620 GPU. Now what does that mean in English? Low tier flagship specs, bro. Low tier flagship specs. Now you got six or eight gigs of RAM, 128 or 256 gigs of storage and a micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now the phone is running Android 10 with Mi Favor 10.5 skin on top. You got a 4,220 milliamp battery that has 30 watt fast charging via Quick Charge 4, which GTE claims you could charge your phone from zero to 60% in 30 minutes. That's pretty good. For the cameras, on the rear you got a quad setup. So you got a 64 megapixel wide angle, eight megapixel ultra wide, two megapixel macro, and a two megapixel depth sensor. On the front, you got a 32 megapixel camera that's under the display. All right, let that sink in for a minute. This is the future of smartphones right here. 32 megapixel front facing camera underneath the display. Sick. Now you got a single bottom firing speaker. You get Bluetooth 5.1, NFC, face unlock, and an on-screen fingerprint sensor. So what's missing? There's no IP rating, no dual speakers, no wireless charge, and no headphone jack. That shit's whack. Hashtag bars. But for $400, we're not going to complain. All right? First things first, shout out to White Shoes. She got the day off. Let's get right into it. Nice white box. Giggity. ZTE Axon 25G. Now, one more thing I want to mention. I know somebody's going to talk about China and Chinese phones and all of that. Look, this is not a political channel. All right? If you want to talk about politics, go to CNN, go to Fox News, go to MSNBC, Newsmax, OAN, wherever you get your news from, all right? I'm reviewing this for what it is, a phone, all right? Okay, here we go. ZTE Axon 25 Gangster. Okay, now I've been using this phone for a couple of days <laughs> and for $400, trust me, you're gonna like this one. Check that out. Let's see what else you can get, hold up. Woo, hold up. I need y'all to see this full presentation. Okay, here's your SIM ejection tool. All right, one-stop shopping, you get a case. Gel skin case, nothing too fancy, but you get a free case. Let's see what this is, okay. Now you get your charging brick, Apple, all right, Samsung, charging brick, that's mandatory. And of course you got your USB Type-C charging cable. All right, shoes, wherever you at, right under my foot, shoes, check this out. Back to the phone. Hold up, let me do a smell test on this real quick. Mm! This one smells futuristic. All right, 400 bucks. Now, imagine when they come out with the flagship, the ultra flagship version of this one. Let me power this up real quick. Y'all need to see this. Okay, there's your boot up animation. On one side, got your power button, volume up and down, quad camera set up on the rear. All right, USB type C charging slot. Top is clean, left side is clean. On the bottom, there's your SIM tray also. And that's pretty much it. Now let me open this up. I just want y'all to see this real quick before I set everything up. Boom. Now watch this. Let's take it over to Instagram. Look at the front. You can't see the front facing camera. How dope is that? So normally when I say <laughs> bezel-less phones, you still got a punch hole camera. Or you see an iPhone with that dumbass notch. This is the future of smartphones right here. 
You see, now you can see the camera a little bit when the light hits it. But when you're looking at the phone like this, you can't see the camera. Now there's other phones with pop-up cameras, but the problem with that is longevity and the mechanism. All right? You never know when that mechanism is gonna break and that's the end of your front-facing camera. Look at that. You see, like when the light hits it, you, you can't see this in real life, but on the camera, it's a little glitch that you're able to see. I don't know if I can hold that at the right angle. But anyway, uh, you've seen it again. <sighs> Truly bezel-less display. All right, let me pause the video. Let me delete my browsing history, and we'll walk through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. First up, let's talk about the build quality. Plastic on the back. Now, usually when you hear plastic on the back, the first thing you think of is cheaper quality. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, late but shoes. still great. Black shoes is back shoes. in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love white, shoes. My white shoes. Calm down. All right, shoes just messed up my flow. Where was we? All right, when you hear plastic on the back, you think of a cheap phone. But a lot of these companies like Samsung and OnePlus are coming out with phones that have plastic backs that still feel good in the hands. Ladies, you know the procedures. And this is one of them. Now, when I first took the phone out, I had to take it over to the spec sheet to make sure that this wasn't glass because it feels a little bit lighter, but it doesn't have that plasticky feel to it. And you see that gradient? It looks beautiful, right? The phone just looks wet. All right, so build quality, A1. Now, there's no IP rating, so again, it's not water resistant. Next, check this out. Always on display. All right, so you got the time, the date, and you got all your notifications. Now, real quick, somebody just asked me, why do I always talk about Android phones versus iPhones? Why do I like Android phones better? Check this out. Now, I'm not gonna turn this into a big rant, I right, shoot, scoop, scoop, but right off the top of my head, here's a $1,500 iPhone, and here's a $400 Android phone. This $400 Android phone has six things already that the iPhone doesn't have. Check this out. Camera under the display, instead of that big notch. You got a 90 hertz refresh rate versus 60. You got always on display. You got 30 watt fast charging versus 20. You got an on-screen fingerprint sensor, no fingerprint sensor. And you get split screen multitasking. Now that's just off the top of my head. Now I know somebody's gonna say, well, on your iPhone, you got dual speakers, it's water resistant, you got wireless charging. I could pull out an Android phone for 600 bucks that has everything the iPhone has and more. All right, so I'm just leaving that out there. That's why I like Android phones better. So imagine this phone, but the high tier flagship version, it's gonna kill the iPhone. Nevertheless, I digress. Where was we? Couple of different ways you can open up the device. All right. On-screen fingerprint sensor, bong, works with no problems. You can swipe up, put in your pattern and your pin, and you got face unlock. Bong, look at that. Look how fast the face unlock is. Instantaneous. Bong. Real nice. Now, I can't stress this enough. Camera under the display. <laughs> this is sick. It makes the phone actually feel a lot taller than it is. Even though it's a giant 6.92 inches, AMOLED quality, I love it. No lag on this one, Snapdragon 765G. Let's go through the settings real quick. Now I'm gonna try to make this quick. Let's go through all of the toggles, everything that is here that you need. All right, you got dark mode, you got screencast, you got screen record, power saving mode. This is a 5G phone. You got uh, DTS sound. Like I said, everything is there. Uh, let's go to settings real quick. Uh, let's see, hold up. Okay, you got Bluetooth, NFC, you got tap and pay, and you got screencast. Look how dope that looks. And I can't get over that for 400 bucks. Let's see, anything else? Uh, notifications. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Okay, let's go to display. 90 hertz refresh rate. Okay. You can switch to 60 if you want. You got dark mode. Bang. Now I'm leaving it on light mode, so this way you can see that bezel-less display. Screen effect. All right, you got warm color, uh, warm, cool, and, 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 well, hold on, let's go to screen effect. Warm, normal, and cool. All right, warm, normal, and cool. All right, that's pretty much it on that. Let's go to uh, always on display. Now you got a bunch of different 
themes and styles. Let's throw in a little neon joint. Why not? Okay. Let's go to our sound. I'm going to do a sound test, but one bottom firing speaker, it would have been better with two, but <laughs> it is what it is. 400 bucks, we're really not going to complain. Let's go to features. Okay, now if you want to, you can have your standard three Android buttons. But now I'm kind of used to the swipe gestures, so I'm just going to leave it like that. You got screen record. Gestures. All right, so you got double tap to awake the screen. You got your three finger screenshots. Raise to awake the phone. Auto answer. I'll leave that off. But if you get a phone call, automatically answer. Let's see. Uh, change the AP. Shake to turn on flashlight. Let's see if that works. There it is. Oh, uh, hold up. I right. shake to turn on flashlight. All right, that's pretty dope. Anything else? Okay, that's it for that. Flip to mute. Okay. No, no, no. Anything else? Nope. That's it for that. Let's go to uh, security. Okay. So face unlock, fingerprint, and you got smart lock. Anything else? Uh, digital well-being. Now, this is a $400 phone, so there is a chance that you're going to buy this for a kid. Monitor that kid's scumbag activities. Anything else? All right, so that's pretty much for that. <laughs> I know. I shoes is killing me. I shoes, I shoes down here chewing on my foot. Okay, let's do some more testing. All right, now let's check the web browsing speeds. Go to apple.com. Opening web page. Snapdragon 765G. This is basically a flagship chipset. This is the full website. Look how fast that was. 90 hertz refresh rate. Scrolling speeds. Buttery smooth. Let's check our split screen multitasking. Take it over to YouTube music on the bottom. Check it Apple on the top, YouTube on the bottom. This is dope. Speaking of YouTube, let's take it over to YouTube and we'll do a little sound test. Here we go. Now, of course, I got the official Flossy Carter sound test. Here we go. Yo, sound test, time for sound test. Everybody shut your mouth, time for sound test. Time to test that quality of sound test. How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound now? How's it sound now? Does it sound big? Does it sound loud? How's the bass, baby? How's the treble on it? How's it sound now? Single bottom firing speaker. Like I said, I prefer dual speakers, but it is what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Rubier. All right, so now let's try a little gaming. Now I got Asphalt 9 queued up. Here we go. Let's get it in. Bezelless display. Okay, knife just right out the gate. Okay, okay, I forgot about that. Hold the drift. Okay. Hold the drift. All right. Nitrous. Woo! Too much drift. What am I doing? I right, did it. There it is. Let's see. Let's. Take a shortcut. All right, it's coming back. It's coming back, y'all. Drift through the finish. I'm trash. I know I'm trash. Now look, people ask me why do I always hold on. Let me pause this for a minute. People ask me why do I always play Asphalt Nine. If your phone can run Asphalt Nine, it can run any game that's in the Android market. 
Let's keep it moving. Now let's do the RDA test, regular daily activities. This is the kind of stuff you're gonna do with your phone on a regular basis. Wake up in the morning, check your always on display. Still got time, go back to sleep. Wake up 30 minutes later, hit that button, face unlock, bang, you're right into your phone. First, let's check the weather. Okay, partly sunny, looking good. Let's exit out of that. Next, let's take it over to Facebook. All right, let's go through the Facebook feed. Anything going on? Everybody looking nice and happy. I love to see that. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas to everybody. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Festivus. Real nice. Exit out of that. Next, let's take it over to the gram. Now, on a side note, this is my secondary Instagram. All right, Flossie Carter, FGC. This is where I post videos of me busting ass in Mortal Kombat. Let's see what we got. That corner. Woo. You know, check out my little flawless victories. Keep it moving. Next, let's take it over to Twitter. Let's see anybody talking about me. Let's see, uh, my man Derek. What weather? App, uh, what weather app is that? Beautiful widgets. All right, Derek. Beautiful widgets pro. Okay, let's see anything else. Okay, keep it moving. Next, let's take it over to uh, TikTok. I'm only following one person. Let's see, uh, let's see what Amaya's doing. Amaya stayed dancing on TikTok. Uh, <laughs> hold up. Let <laughs> me mute out the sound. Uh, all right, a little dancing. Let's see. Um, let me find my favorite video. Ah, right, here it is. Watch my favorite video. My little morning motivation video right here. I like that. Let me unlike it so I can like it again. Bang. Good vibes, good vibes. Exit out of that. Let's see, let's take it over to Gmail. Uh, let's check my emails, let's see. Got some YouTube comments, go ahead and read those. Okay, real nice. Exit out of that. And lastly, let's take it over to YouTube. Watch a quick video in the car on the way to work. There it is. And the talent you Shout out to my man Destroyer. Watch some Mortal Kombat videos. Let's see. I tend to watch this stuff while I'm driving to work. Alright, there it is. So this phone survives your regular daily activities like a boss. Alright, so now let's take a look at the camera. Now say you happen to have a cat sitting on the table doing something cute and you want to take a picture immediately, grab your phone, hit the power button twice, that'll bring you the camera, Bang. Just like that. We call that the World Star Hip Hop button. All right, so let's go through all of the different shooting modes. You got your bokeh effect. Now you can make it more or less blurry. You got night mode. You got portrait mode. So you got natural light, studio light, monochrome background, wave point, and window blinds. You got regular photos, wide angle lens, all the way up to 10 times zoom. You got video, let's check the quality. 4K, 60 frames per second. Let's take it over to uh, more. So you got manual mode, panorama, mono, document, watermark, macro, and 64 megapixels. Now here's the front facing camera. Let me switch it over real quick. That's how it's gonna look. Get that little, get that little blend light. <laughs> That's pretty much it. I shoes just got scared. All right, let's take a look at some test pictures and videos.
right, so overall, on a scale of one to 10, I'm giving the ZTE Axon 25G a major, major go. And at 400 bucks, as Bob Barker would say, the price is right. Now, the only thing that I don't like about this phone is the lack of dual speakers. You got phones like the OnePlus Nord N10 5G. That phone is 380 bucks, has a 90 hertz refresh rate and dual speakers. Even though this phone is better, I, the Nord has the Snapdragon 690. This has the big boy Snapdragon 765G with the bezel-less AMOLED display. So I would gladly take this phone over the Nord. But in 2021, all phones need to have dual speakers. I, that gotta be the minimum. Anyway, Axon 25G, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys in lap. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and pitch and be rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spot one to beam up. Energize. situation where everybody in the world uses technology and if you're gonna buy some of that technology you gotta understand certain things subscribe to Flossy Carter he does reviews of all the latest technology the iPhones the iPads the galaxies the Samsung's whatever the fuck the beats by that doctor guy and he puts his kitty cat in the videos too for you something to look at you know, I'm an animal lover, so I like that shit. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, the Flossy Carter on the YouTube, the follow button on the Insta face, and the like button on the face look. Because if you don't, we're going to have a fucking problem here. A bad one. Now hit the fucking subscribe button.